But let me let me weigh in here on something, and I and, and this gentleman just sort of mentioned it, and I'm not trying to be critical because what he expressed earlier, which was about uh, the Nisqually quake last day of February 2001, yep. so it's been a while, right? And people will talk about that as remember that big one, and I can see why people would say this. But what we're seeing here, folks, is a reminder of where we live. If you think this is a big quake, you ain't seen nothing. Mm -hmm. If you thought Nisqually was in a big quake, you ain't seen nothing. Mm -hmm. This is a region that is capable of magnitude nine. That is an incredibly large earthquake. You're talking about the Cascadia subduction. I'm talking about the Cascadia subduction zone, which is off our coast. So if you think of Japan in 2011, you not only had a massive earthquake, but you also had the tsunamis that came along with it. Mm -hmm. If you look at what the Seattle Fault did, albeit 1,100 years ago, and this is where the scientists are really trying to figure things out here, is how often does that go off and they don't know. That, lift, that lifted the, the eastern point on Bainbridge Island in the air 21 feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a reminder. So if you have not started to prepare for this, get your supplies, get a plan in place, here's your sign. For God's sakes, do it. We have, we uh, have multiple tons. spots online, king5.com. We tell have you just an amazing that. amount of material. We took, we took basically 2017 off and we looked at all of this. All of this is available to you. Uh, the Washington Department of uh, Emergency Management um, has tremendous amount of information available to you, and I'll bring some of this down later. Yeah. But if you haven't thought about it before, if you're new to the region, you know, I mean, in a way, these quakes are kind of fun. The next one won't be fun. All right, a stark reminder from our Glenn Farley. Stick around, we need you around here this morning on a day like this.